street food. Welcome one and all from the four corners of the internet, but especially Reddit, to the premiere of Street Food Season 5. I am wearing all of this get up in honor of our theme today, which is pollution. The desolation of smog. 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 We try to keep it positive here at Street Food, but as it's been in the news and whatnot, here is the down low on the pollution where I live. Spoiler alert, it is both down and low. First of all, the air pollution in China is caused by myriad factors. In Xi'an, it's primarily due to construction work, I've been told, but actually I don't think anybody really knows exactly what is the cause of the smog. Weather, landscape, automobile emissions, power plants, coals burning factory, these are just some of the potential causes of the funk in the air. So how do we fight it? Heart! Your powers combine. I am Captain Planet! Nah, we use these 3M masks. They're PM 2.5 and above rated. This is the kind of stuff you want to use. I'm pretty sure it's like the more you pay for it, the cleaner the air is going into your lungs. We also have these monster air purifiers from Sweden. These two measures may seem small, but we absolutely notice a difference when we wear the masks during the day outside and when we have the air purifiers on in the house. How bad is it exactly? Pollution gets measured and monitored globally by this air quality index. AQI is derived scientifically using things like math. You can get a sweet iPhone app that'll tell you what the reading is for your area on any particular day. And there's this really helpful website, I'll link it in the description. It gives real-time numbers of the different cities. It even breaks some of the larger cities down into districts, which is really helpful for us, because we live on the north side of Xi'an, which is much more polluted usually than the south side. Now, the scale typically only goes to 500. Most would agree that anything over 300 is hazardous. Now, Xi'an varies, but for the past few months, it has been consistently above 300. For a few days last December, Xi'an held the record for the highest in all of China. Woohoo! It was off the charts in the high 900s for several back-to-back -back days. Yay! For a while, it got so bad, the government stepped in and did some cloud seeding, aka making it rain. It basically works like that. These are some photos one of my friends took in our neighborhood. Sometimes we literally cannot see the buildings right across the street. If you want to see some more cool pictures and know more about life in China, you should check out their blog. Enough about that. Let's talk about another way to pollute your body. Not dogs. A lot of my Reddit friends asked to see this, so here it is, how they do hot dogs in Xi'an. No bun, no condiments. Straight naked on a stick. I got mine with some chili pepper on it just to try to dress it up a little. Some of them are so radioactive pink, makes me want to think about summoning Captain Planet again. Go Planet! It's a kind of a melt in your mouth, acquired taste. They're pretty popular here. Kids love them. They also do a lot of these hot dogs wrapped in plastic which need to be neither refrigerated nor cooked. They come in different flavors and sizes. This one is made of lion. This one is made of a corn alien. So they're not pork. It's really common if you're sitting on a Chinese train for somebody to crack one of these open and it's like pfft. Yep, can't read that. Oh yeah. You get a whiff though and you're like, that is straight up dog food. It's just like bologna waftage. Oh. Yeah, that is awful. I'm an American, I like hot dogs. I do not like these. My favorite hot dog is a Dairy Freeze in Alta Vista, Virginia. Shout out Dairy Freeze! What's your favorite hot dog? Let me know in the comments below. We've got big plans this season. Street food is heading to multiple cities and nations, including Southeast Asia. We're gonna try a slew of new street snacks, we're gonna meet new friends, and we're gonna relax in the serenity of <laughs> Come back for more next Friday when we head to Toronto. Please subscribe, share it with your friends. Until next week, eat it on the street. Watch out for the parasite. Street food. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. For real, the 80s were awesome.